tonight, CBS 17 is digging deeper into how a different kind of professional would approach this case. Someone who makes a living tracking down people on the run. CBS 17's Sonica Bargo is live for us tonight with this story. You had a chance to talk to a professional bounty hunter about this case. Rod Angela, that's right. And Scott Bernstein tells me he has caught over 8,000 people in his career. He says while Alston's case certainly has a lot of urgency, he would approach it the same as any other case. I mean, the number one thing to do is act quick. After nearly 40 years tracking down fugitives, Scott Bernstein has a lot of experience finding people who don't want to be found. So I've gone after murderers that I found in a day. I've gone after like spousal abusers or wife beaters, which took me a couple of weeks. We asked him how would he approach a case like Ramon Alston's, who escaped from custody early Tuesday. The first steps would be to examine the file see what kind of other uh, crimes he committed in the past besides the one he was incarcerated for. Bernstein says he tries to gather as much information as possible, including reaching out to family and friends. He says they usually have information he needs to track someone down. Yeah, so let's say, for example, uh, he has a uh, brother, Ramon, who lives in Mexico. Well, that's a pretty good sign right there that we have a viable lead and we want to check it out. Bernstein says there are different ways to find people, like tracking their car or following someone close to them. They might take them to where the fugitive's hiding. After that, it's just a matter of apprehending them. He says preparation is the best approach. You just turn your head for a second and anybody can bolt away from you. So you're prepared to take this on and a prepared person will get the job done. Bernstein tells me he is actually considering taking on Alston's case, especially with that increased reward money. Live in Raleigh, Sonica Fargo, CBS 17 News. All right, Sonica, thanks so much. We appreciate it.